And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. The show brings you game one of a big four-game set. It's the Philadelphia Phillies and the Arizona Diamondbacks. First pitch coming your way next. About to get started here and towing the slab, Merrill Kelly. Well, he tried to make it through the fifth inning last time out, but the pitch count just got too high. He ended up taking the loss. That's one of those you just have to shake it off, come back out today, and try to throw a jib. And stepping in is the Leading speedy Trey Turner. The shortstop, Trey Turner. The pitch. That misses the zone, and we are underway. First pitch, 640. And the right-hander deals. Swing and a ball popped up. That one gets down for a hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Fastball off the plate a little bit, but a really nice job of going with it. Punched it to the opposite field for that knock. And now let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. And now it's Alec Bohm. One for four with a double in yesterday's game. Turner going, runs. Slice the other way. That's a base hit. And now runners at the corners. Nobody out. Back-to-back -back singles. Just a cookie That's down the middle. I mean, those That's are the ones you dream about. Runs right in the cage. You're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle. Not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. Now here's the switch hitting power threat. Brandon Jordan. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Singy, maybe some nerves getting the best of him in the first? Well, it's hard to know exactly if it's nerves or not, but he just doesn't have it right now. Those hitters on the other side, they're going to say it's nerves and use that as a competitive edge to try to jump on him even more. Next offering is in for a strike. Turner, the runner at third. Boom. Out at first with nobody out. They say you win. Riding to the play. Ball two. Two two to count. Foul ball, he stays alive. The 2 2 stays alive. The 2 2. Gets a piece and stays alive. Two two. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Pulled the string of the changeup. It's a strikeout, but they'll be in good shape if they make their outs as difficult as that one. Those grinding abs take a toll on a pitcher as the game goes on. Bryce Harper to the plate. And a swing and a miss there. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. A one down. Got the bat going too oh, soon at strike two. Big pitch right here. He's going to try to make a pitch that's going to produce a strikeout or a ground ball double play. Two on, one out. And there's the ball. Oh. 
And down on strikes he goes. And now two ball. Oh, that was such a great opportunity to grab the lead. You have the infield back. All you've got to do is just put the ball in play on the ground, and you drive across a run. It's a frustrating outcome for the hitter. Now, I'll still have a chance, but it's probably going to take a clutch hit with two outs. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. Fourth on the National League home run leaderboard. Yeah, the first Whoa. offering is not close. Two outs. Pitch is in for a strike, and the count is one and one. Out towards left center. Carroll moving under it. He's got it, and that is that. Phillies leave a couple. And now Arizona gets its first opportunity in a scoreless ball game. Major League Baseball is on the show. Back here in the desert, and today's starting pitcher, Aaron Nola. His career ERA has been under four. What I like most about him is his reliability. Takes the ball every fifth day, ready to go whenever the manager calls. Now here is Jake McCarthy. Taken high in the draft. The He's right had that field. top prospect labeled over him since he put on a professional okay. uniform. But at some point, that starts to go away, and you've got to produce at the big league level. There's a strike. When Nola was in college at LSU, he got a chance to play with his brother Austin who was the team shortstop and as well his roommate was Alex Bregman righty delivers that's a ball that one missed Hello. one strike In the air to left down the line. And that drops foul. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Tell you what, those are the types of guys pitchers really like to punch that out when they're on the mound because the if they get on, just the distraction that they create with all that speed over on the base pass, it could take away your focus from the next hitter. And that's the last thing you want to do is serve up a pitch that a guy hits over the fence, and it's a multi run home run. Left hand hitter waits. Swing and a miss. One and one. And now two and two. Three two now. And that one hammered. That's back there. Leaping and it's gone. He leaves the yard to right and they grab the lead. It's one nothing.
fastballs, especially with good velocity, can be really hard to catch up to. But he stays tall, his top hand works extremely well, and he absolutely clobbered. Here's Guriel, one for four with a double in yesterday's game. And a foul ball. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. The wind of the pitch. Ground ball to Bohm. Tosses to first, and they get the out. Time to take a look at the Diamondbacks lineup. One guy leading the way offensively for this club right now, Christian Walker. And he's leading him in runs batted in this season, which tells me this guy is able to slow things down when it seems like there's a little bit of pressure. And he's looking at it as an opportunity to do damage. You know, a lot of guys, they see runners on base and they get big. They feel like all this pressure, I've got to get these runs in. But somehow he seems to settle into these situations. So watch out when he comes to the plate. Christian oh, Walker, right. the batter now, as he swings and misses for strike one. Oh, and two now. And yeah, that's outside. Noel is a guy who registers a lot of strikeouts. In fact, he's had 220 or more strikeouts in three different seasons. Now that's smack to right center. Can't get their base hit. Well, he found himself behind in the count right there, but he didn't get in. Good. Pretty much a model no swing field. on that one as he ripped Go it into there. the opposite field gap. And I'm Go. sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to bottle. So many positives that led to that knock. Two outs, runner at first. This is Corbin Carroll. In there for strike one. And one thing about Nola Boog, just outstanding command, really sets up that breaking ball to expand the zone to get hitters for that swing and miss. You think about it, in 2022, he walked 29 guys in 205 innings. That's pretty incredible. In the dirt, blocked. Over to first, and that is that. D-backs get one on the solo jack. It's now 1-0. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Second inning, set to go. And now for the Phillies, Nick Castellanos. Nick Castellanos. Kelly, back to work. There's a strike. Up and in, and it's a ball to strike. Carl Dixon doing the umpiring behind the plate. And Boog, I'm not sure if it's because he sort of sets up higher than most, but one thing to be aware of with Dixon is the high strike. Not usually a big deal because most guys are swinging at pitches up there, but we may see some surprise looks from hitters from time to time because that's just so unusual. Here's a one-two. Lined, and that's a base hit. Well, that certainly feels good when you can win the at-bat after being down in the count, up against it with two strikes right there. I don't know how he's able to shoot that pitch the other way and still put something on it. That pitch was inside, and he let it get really deep, so pretty incredible hands to fight it off and still get good wood on it. And now it is JT Real Muto. 
And that one fouled off. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, try to stay out of a double play here. Castellanos aboard here at first with nobody out. Foul ball still 0-2. Hit on the ground to the right side. Knocks it down. Batting it. The first baseman, number 17, Reese Hoskins. First and second, no outs. And the batter now is Reese Hoskins. Check swing, oh, went around. Going one. pitch and downstairs the one one in the air out to center Fletcher as this one sized up makes the grab runner tagging for third and he moves up 90 feet. Runners at the corners now. One away. That is not the second base. Josh. Two on, one out. Josh Harrison now at the plate. And first offering is fouled off. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, Boog. And he deals. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. This one kicks away a little as he can't squeeze it. And an excellent job keeping it right there. Runners are at the corners, one away. And the pitch. Squirts away a little bit. The tag and got him at second. Kind of a tough read for the base runner right there. You're usually trying to be aggressive on balls in the dirt, trying to get into scoring position. But if it doesn't get away very far, or you can't tell how far it is, most catchers are going to get to it and throw you out at the base. So right there, excellent job by the catcher. He helps out his pitcher big time. And a pitch. In the dirt. Well done behind the dish. Kicks and fires. So now two on and two outs. Here's Turner now. He's one for one. Let off the game with a single. And that's in there for strike one. Hard hit. Knocks it down. 
No throw, and they get a run at home. Well, there you go. The RBI machine, another clutch run scoring at bat. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. And now here is Alec Boyd. That's in for a strike on the outside corner. 1-1. And a pitch. And that one cutting but missing down low. That's to third. That ends the inning and stops things from getting out of hand. One run in the inning, but they leave two. Now to the bottom of the second. All tied 1-1. And welcome back. Bottom of the second. And here is Gabriel Moreno. A wide to kick the pitch. And a foul ball. That misses the zone. One ball, one strike. And the righty deals. Fights that one away. Still one and two. And here it comes. Next offering is outside. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put him away. Next offering is fouled back. Here's a 2-2. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way. So credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly he had him fooled. Mark Tell Marte up to the plate. That one's in there, 0 and 1. 0 and 1. The pitch. That's in there. That is strike two. He doesn't seem to like the pitch up. Hasn't offered on either one of those pitches. 0-2 count now. I think the guy's going to climb the ladder out there. 0-2 now. Battling here as he fouls it away. The 0-2. And that's downstairs and outside. One ball. Tied up here Two. in the early going. Struck him out looking. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. Now it's going to be Dominic Fletcher. All ones right now. And the 0-1. There, that oh, misses off the outside edge. Line drive. Nice grab. That one was ticketed for the gap, but couldn't get through security. Great job there of leaping, making the catch, and ending the inning.
top half of the third inning. So digging in now for Philadelphia. Brandon Jordan. This guy makes great contact. One of the best in the game at putting bat on ball. He's got such quick hands, and he's gaining pitch recognition. That keeps him square to the plate. There's a good chance that his bat stays in the zone a long time, and that produces solid contact consistently. Man, I mean, nice job just presenting it to be better than it actually was. And takes low for ball one. And now the count, one, one and two, two after the swing and the miss. Next one misses, now two and two. Ground ball up the middle, that's a base hit. Right field. And Number now three. here is Harper. Right. He's 0 for 1. Harper. Certainly you'd say Bryce Harper's signature moment. Game 5 of the National League Championship Series in 2022. That opposite field home run that put the Phillies ahead and would send them to the World oh, Series wow. of the Padres' Robert Suarez. Jordan gets his lead at first with nobody out. Next offering is in for a strike. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit. And a curve is down and in. In for a strike, and the count's even at two. Full there by the changeup, and in a hole right here. It's got to try to shorten up a little bit, put the ball in play. Kelly a move to first. Jordan gets back easily. Here's a 2 2. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. So digging in, Kyle Schwarber. Kyle. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning-ending double play. Kelly moved to first. Oh, he's and he's great. back in safely. That's in for a strike. Schwarber in his eighth season hitting fifth in today's lineup and he was selected to the all-star game last year here's your one love how vocal the umpire is today no doubt in the hitter's mind catcher's mind and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call <laughs> Oh and two now. Ball oh, one there. Caught a break right there. Pretty good pitch on the outside corner. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Well, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back to back strikeout. So yeah, they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him in the scoring position to try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. Here's Nicholas Castellanos. Singled and scored his first time. Ball one, no strikes. Castellanos, a former All-Star. 31 years old, and he's usually in the outfield. Today, he's the DH. The pitch. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it.
Nick Castellanos goes deep. His 17th of the year. It's 3-1. like this guy was looking out over the plate but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball so direct to the pitch absolutely blasted out of his ballpark JT Real Muto steps in ground ball Walker he takes it himself to the bag and that'll do it but two come across to score in the inning courtesy of this two run homer and this is now a 3-1 ball game. Bottom of the inning. And now the shortstop, Nick Ahmed. The shortstop, Nick Ahmed. The right-hander back to work. Ahmed measures six feet two inches 200 pounds and he was a second round pick back in 2011 next offering is in for a strike well after putting up a nice inning on offense got some runs across this is where you look for the starter to go out there have a shutdown That's inning open. don't give that other team any hope uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning get the bats back up there while they're hot next offering is down low And yeah, there's ball four. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. Way to go. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Jake McCarthy. Foul away. At the belt and fires. Swing and a bouncer. Goes to second. Safe there. Here's Josh Rojas. He's already homered in this game. It's own one. The pitch. Swings through that one. Through that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. The 0 2. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. The 0 2. Got him swinging. Now two on, one out. Here's Lourdes Gurriel Jr. 0 for 1. He grounded out in his first at bat. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. And there's the strike. Really good job in this spot to get ahead in the count. He's going to have to continue, finish off this hitter. And a pitch. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. Off the mark there. It's a ball and two strikes. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing, that high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings.
Two on, one out. That's a really good take. Christian Walker to bat next. pitch swing and a miss struck him out got him out on the front foot couldn't keep the hands back long enough and now that played right into the hands of the pitcher and yeah, now it's Christian Walker Showed a really nice opposite field approach in his last at bat. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Kicks and deals. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit, just not able to square it up. Puts it in the air out towards left center, and that'll fall for a base hit. One runs in. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. So one run on one hit, no errors, and a runner left. On to inning number four. It's the Phillies three and the Diamondbacks two. Back here at the ballpark, new inning getting started, and now Reese Hoskins. He swings and misses at the first pitch, 0-1. Right-hander kicks, deals. Ball. And ball one. One ball, one strike. And another Two ball. Balls, one strike. The 2-1. Swing and a foul straight back. Next offering way upstairs. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. The wind of the pitch. Gets a piece there, we'll do it again. Payoff pitch. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Three and two. Payoff pitch. Fights it off. He'll see another. Here comes a pitch. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. And digging in for Philadelphia, Josh Harrison worked a walk at his first trip to the plate. And that's down it away. The 1 0. Fouled off. He was late.
Rolled to short. Possible two ball. There's one. Out. On to first. Double play. Nice soft hands on the backhand right there in the six hole. Starts the double play. It's not an easy throw, but he puts it on the money. Really good job to get that double play started. Here's Trey Turner. And he flips a breaking ball in there or a changeup. Either one. <laughs> Something off speed. Good arm action on it, whatever it was. Hammer, base hit. Makes the turn and heads for second. Not stopping. He's going for three. And his third hit of the game is a triple. Well, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump up. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. So two down, and the batter down. Alec Bohm, one for two. Bohm started after it, tried to hold up. Now a look to first, didn't go. Turner on third with two out. Swing and a miss. One and, one. and a count even, one and one. Movement in the bullpen. Zach Davies getting loose out there. Pitch misses there. Now two balls and a strike. Two outs. That clips the corner. And that one is lifted in the air. Carroll moving under it. Makes the play, and it's out number three. One hit, one left. On now to the bottom of the fourth. It's the Phillies three and the Diamondbacks two. Back here at Chase Field, bottom four. Now, Corbin Carroll. The left fielder. Corbin Carroll. Nola back to work. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Gabriel Moreno stands in now for the Diamondbacks. He was a strikeout victim his first time. And takes low for ball one. Nobody out. Runner at first. Next offering is in for a strike. Good eye right there. Here's a 2 1. Bounding ball here, rolls foul. That misses. And now it's three and two. Cattell Marte on deck for Arizona.
Left field. Schwarber settles under it. And there's one down. Now battle. The second baseman. Cattell. Marte. Here's Cattell Marte. Caught looking his first time up. Just misses a ball and no strikes. There's a the strike. One and one. One one is fouled off. Clearly trying to stay back a little bit longer for that changeup as he fouls that fastball back. That's Next ball offering ball. is downstairs. Two ball, two Next offering is fouled back. The 2 2. Dominic Fletcher up next. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Good battle here, about to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. It misses. It's a strikeout. Dominic Fletcher stands in now for the Diamondbacks. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Chris with that distraction and the speedy guy at first he's in a favorable hitters count well if nothing else I mean this is a great spot for a hitter to be in the 2-0 is in for a strike that's a strike Left-hand batter waits. He goes down looking. One left for Arizona. They're down three to two. Welcome back. All set for the start of the inning. And now for the Phillies, Brandon Jordan. I think when you contemplate him as a player, the first thing you think about is defense and you think about that great arm. I also think about the speed. If he can get on, that's going to give one more thing for that pitcher to think about. Yeah, there's a ball. Well, these Phillies doing a good job of simply getting the bat on the ball in this game, and the numbers back that up. They've done a great job finding holes in the defense. Exactly half of their hits have come off the bat less than 90 Aye. miles per hour. So the ball isn't exactly jumping off the lumber, but they're finding a way to make it work. So now one and two. And the right hander deals. Ball. Two, two, Caught him looking for the K. Here's Bryce Harper. 
Chris, you think about memorable performances in the home run derby. Well, the Nationals had the All-Star game in 2018, and Bryce Harper, with his dad throwing to him, put on quite a performance and won the home run derby. First pitch, just misses. Yeah, probably the biggest moment in Nationals Park for Harper, and he would have loved that to have been a World Series appearance, but it was an All-Star. This one's fair down the line and left, and it's going to be extra bases. He's in at second with a one-out double. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. And at second with one away. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Kyle Schwarber. In there for strike one. Runner at second here, one gone. And that one fouled off. Looking. Well, I think that's a case of overthinking right there. You got three straight fastballs looking in the 0 2 count just to pour it back. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. He's already homered here in this one. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. 2013 in the playoffs you caught one as the Red Sox played the Rays in the division series I sacrificed a bracelet it was my wrist and my hand runner leads away at second oh he gloves it over to first and they get the out one left for Philadelphia but they still lead it 3-2 Here in the desert, digging in, Nick Ahmed. This is a guy who's in the line of first and foremost because of what he contributes defensively, Chris. And when you talk about preventing runs from being scored, this guy is a big contributor. That hits the dirt. One and oh. Next pitch has popped up. Hoskins makes the catch. One down. Now back, right field. So the lineup flips over. Next up for the Diamondbacks, Jake McCarthy. You know this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. First oh, pitch doesn't back. find the zone. He takes a strike. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. The 1-1. One, one. And strike two. Well, he went inside a couple of times, and now outside. Hitter's not exactly sure where to look for this next pitch. Next one is off the play. Two and two. Starting to go after it. Now we'll look down to third and no swing, says Joe McDonald. Got him looking. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Well, he throws him with a great now fastball it. right on the corner. It's kind of like bowling when you think the ball's going to get into the gutter and somehow just hangs onto that edge and knocks down a pin. Well, he got the outside corner of the plate and got that called third strike. And now Josh Rojas and a foul ball.
hot shot to first base and he snags it to end the inning. So one two three go the Diamondbacks. They trail it three two. On the mound now Miguel Castro and he's been racking up strikeouts at a high rate this year typically at least one in any so he'll be tough to get to. And up to the plate is JT Real Muto. Real Muto multi time all star a member of the 1000 hit club and he was a third round pick back in 2010. That one fouled off. That misses the zone. It's a ball and two strikes. Really good slider. He's up there just hoping that it ends up off the plate away. Next offering misses, and yeah, that's ball two. Well, he's having a tough time getting a pitch by him as a hitter. You feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches still able to make some type of contact. Right-handed reliever. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. The next offering misses. And a full count now. And a pitch. And that's ball four. Well, a breaking ball in that 3 2 count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. And it's Reese Hoskins up to the dish. Castro goes six feet, seven inches, 205 pounds. He joined the team as a free agent. Started after the 0 1 pitch and now a check down to first. Yes, he did. That's a swing, according to Eric Summers Gill. Righty to the plate. Swing and a miss. That's strike two. Bullpen activity starting up now. Kyle Nelson up and throwing for manager Tori Lavello. Now move to first. Real Muto back in standing. Runner at first with no outs here. And he deals. Battling here as he fouls it away. Righty delivers. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. Lead runner to second. So two on and nobody out. Good two strike hitting right there, Boog. A bit of a lost start for some. So that was nicely done to beat the odds. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and ripped it into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. There's a strike. Oh, they're willing to give up and out here. This is a big spot, so you have to make it count. And the righty deals. And it's strike two. Yeah, you can see he just kind of stabbed at that one instead of just keeping his hands soft and absorbing the baseball with the bat. And 
And here it comes. In the air of the infield. And the infield fly is called. And the infield fly is called. The back of the seven. Trey Trey Turner with a chance now. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. Yeah. And that's a strike. Some guys are just more confident they can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. Real Muto on second. Hoskins at first. One gone. Next pitch inside. And that's ball one. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Here's a 1-1. To first. Might be two. Ahmed for one. What a double play that was. Inning over. No runs, one hit, no errors, and a man left. Part of the order, 3-4-5 coming up. It's the Phillies three and the Diamondbacks two. And welcome back. John Shelby with Chris Singleton in the booth and leading off the bottom of the sixth, Lourdes Goriel Jr. The pitch. Fastball for a strike. And it's 0 and 1. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. Kicks and fires. Got him. And that's the first out. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher are on the same page right now. Christian Walker, the next to hit. That one off the mark, ball one. Walker, 32 years old, and he won a gold glove last season. Jack Swang didn't go. Two and one. Almost got him to commit, but he held back. Nope. The next pitch misses, and a count is three and one. Kicks and deals. Hit hard, base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. I'm sure he feels really good about that one. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. Run around at first with one gone. Here's a speed threat, Corbin Carroll. Swings through that one, 0-1. Pitch. Fall off foul. One run game, one out, one on. In the dirt, but kept close. No movement, 
Now a ball and two strikes. Some bullpen action for Philadelphia. Matt Strong, the veteran southpaw, is getting ready to come on if needed. Brogdon getting cranked up as well. Pitch misses. Two balls, two strikes. At the belt and fires. Follow this count. Runner not known for his speed, but I think you got to put him in motion. Try to avoid a double play here, Boog. Three, two. Line drive. That's a base hit. Lead runner makes the turn at second. Here comes the throw. Not in time. The tying run stands at third with one out, and a fly ball could knock this one up. Well, we don't think that pitch would have been called a strike, but he did such a nice job of pulling his hands tight to the body and just getting enough of the barrel on it to be hard enough back up the middle for a knock. Runners at the corners here, one away. And now the catcher comes up to him. Gabriel. Swing and a ball popped up. Dunks one into left. In from third is the tying run. It's 3-3. Three, three. Just a clutch at bat right there. Big time swing when this team really needed it. When you pop a ball up like that, you don't expect it to get you not too often. But right there, somehow he got it to drop in behind first base. And that's where no one could get to it. And now it's the switch hitting second baseman, Cattell Marte. Who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. Just missed. Well, he's just given up three straight hits. And now behind in this count to this hitter. Might be a good time for... Somebody to call a timeout. Maybe the pitching coach go out there and talk to him just a little bit. The 1-0. -oh. Line drive, base hit. In to score is the runner from third. It's 4-3. Picks himself up in RBI. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you've got to make them pay. now Matt Strong and he's had a struggle so far this year as you can see the inflated ERA looking to bring that down a little bit right here here's the center fielder Dominic Fletcher first offering misses badly for ball one pitch that's, that's down point. and in appears they're working around him with the base open singy well you know these two -oh counts boo they're just not what they used to be and we sound like old guys when I say that but ultimately this Great is up. a strategic game and you expect to see this type of approach by the pitcher in this situation Pitch walk. Well, the bat pretty much taken out of his hands there. Yeah, he was patient. He didn't chase and go outside of uh, his strike zone. So, you know, you have to tip your cap because you ultimately know that the guy behind you is going to have an opportunity to get it done. And that's what you got to do. Pass the baton sometimes and trust your teammates. Moreno on third. Marte over at second. Fletcher over at first with one away. Next one misses. And the count is 2-0. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. To an old account. Here it comes. Good eye right there. Way to lay off that pitch down.
Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. And that's in for a strike. Back-to-back -back fastballs in. That last one called for a strike. Probably go away, but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off. The 3-1. And that's in for a strike. One out, base is full. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Swing, appeal to first. No swing. He held it back. And that'll force home a run. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really patient at the play, the game plan that he's sticking to. He's just not going outside of what he's looking for up there. In the box here, lets that one go for a ball. Always tough to turn two on a speedster like this. It's even harder with him coming out of the left-handed batter's box. You really need something to hit hard on the ground that they can handle to turn two quickly. And that one lifted in the air center field. Brings it in. Runner tagging from third. Lay at the plate. Not in time. He's safe. It's six to three. Well, that's a quality at bat right there. You know the situation. You need something in the air and deep enough, and that's exactly what he did. Good now pass to the baseball. Now up next for Arizona, Josh Rojas. He had a big swing for these guys way back to the first inning. Yeah, Boog, he didn't waste any time in this one. The solo shot really got his team going, and he's looking for more right here. And that's in there for strike one. Real Muto under it. Makes the catch. And that will end the inning. So nine batters come to the plate. Four of them score. Seventh inning coming up. It's the Diamondback six and the Phillies three. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound. Cole Sulcer. Out for the 30th time this year. So digging in, Alec Bohm, one for three. Alec And a pitch. That's in there. Strike one. Strike right there. Quickly in an 0-2 hole, you're going to have to give something up here in terms of power if you want to put the ball in play with any authority. The pitch. Fly ball down the line. McCarthy trying to get there. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Now batting. The center field. And digging in for Brandon. Philadelphia, Brandon Jordan. Jordan. He's a guy who does it all. Singy, he's a guy that covers both sides of the plate about as well as anyone in the sport. How difficult is that to do? Well, I'll just look at the back of my bubblegum card. You'll see how hard it is. These guys are great, man. They have the ability to look out there, but also to be able to turn on the inside pitch. Those that can really sharpen things on the outer half, those are the ones that become elite. One down, base is empty. 
There's a strike. Oh, this guy's so comfortable hitting with two strikes. Even a good pitch early in the at-bat. If he's not ready to pull the trigger, he's not worried if he gets to an 0-2 count. Swing and a miss. Pulled the string of the changeup. And Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance, get him out of there, and deal with the next guy. Here's Harper now. That's in there. And that's strike one. And a swing and a miss. This guy's not wasting any pitches. Hitters got to get into swing mode. This is a good time to expand the zone. Throw something maybe down in the dirt. Here's the 0-2. Just misses the mark outside the zone. It's a good take. The 1-2. Fouls it back with two strikes. He's mixing his pitches really well. Late on that fastball after seeing the changeup. See if he can elevate one. I think if he does, he'll get the swing and miss. Eighth pitch of the at-back coming up. Next offering is down low. And the pitch. That one just misses. Full count now. Wow, this guy's really battling up there as if his run is the game-winning run. I love his tenacity. 3-2 now. Bows that off to the left and will do it again. Here comes a pitch. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. You know, I think he's okay with that outcome. It, it wasn't an intentional walk, no, but he wasn't exactly trying to attack his own either. Here comes Mark Melanson. He's got a wicked breaking ball in his arsenal, and it's definitely one of his go-to pitches when he needs an out. Number 34, Mark. Mark. Runner first with two away. And now for the Phillies, Kyle Schwarber. Went down looking on three pitches last time. Let's see if he can be a little more aggressive right here. Nope. Check swing. No appeal. And it's one to no. Swung on. Belted. That one back. Reaching for it and brings it in. Philly strand one and can't cut into that 6-3 deficit. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Connor Brogdon. And he's done a great job keeping the ball in the park this year. The numbers stack up with some of the best in the game. Three, four, five, Leader, due up for the home team. And it's Lourdes Goriel Jr. Lourdes Goriel. And a pitch. 
There's a strike. You know, these D-backs doing a good job of putting the ball into play, and that makes things more challenging on the defensive side. They've done a great job finding holes in the defense. Exactly Whoa. half of their hits have come off the bat less than 90 miles per hour. So the ball isn't exactly jumping off the lumber, but they're finding a way to make it work. They say you win. One ball, two strikes. Next Ball, one off the plate side. inside, and it's two and two. And a pitch. Just misses with that one. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Well, they've had a great plan now of attack for him tonight. I mean, no, finding good. all the holes in his swing and his approach, just frustrating for him up there. You strike out a guy three times in a game, I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach, figure out how they're beating him, make this adjustment really quick, because word will get around the league in a hurry. Righty to the plate. One ball, two strikes. Yeah, that's two too ball, high. Two strikes. And now it's Three filled strikes. up. Right-handed reliever. On a line, base hit. Having himself a really nice game at the plate. Hooked around that pitch on the outside, but he was still able to square it up pretty nicely. And that takes quick, strong wrist to pull that off. One down. Corbin Carroll will hit next. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Left hand batter waits. And ball. now two and nothing is that one missed below the knees. Walker at first, one gone. Swing and a pop up. Foul territory for the catcher. Real Muto makes the grab, two down. Now batting, catcher, Gabriel. Gabriel Moreno digs in now. That one's in there, 0 1. Bounce to the right. He handles it himself. That ends the frame. One left for the Diamondbacks, but they still lead it 6 3. The wind of the pitch. Got to keep things airtight defensively right here. On your toes, ready to make a play. If you can get this to the ninth with a three-run lead, it should be a W.
Next offering is in for a strike. In this situation, you expect the batters to be a little more patient, possibly take until they get a strike. With that, you don't want to miss your opportunity to get ahead early in the count. He didn't right there. Line drive, base hit. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. No, nice job going yep. the opposite way with it. Letting the ball travel and not allowing the barrel to hook around the ball. It's so frustrating when you see a good pitch and your hands roll over. It was on the outside part of the plate, and he approached it perfectly. And now, JT Real Muto in there in its own one. Righty delivers. Chopper right side. Walker. And they tag him out. Now batting the first baseman, Reese Hoskins. Reese Hoskins stands in for the Phillies. Well, it's critical right here that they bear down and turn in some quality at bats. Try to chip away at that lead because if it gets to the ninth, that closer's coming in. And he swings and misses oh, at the initial offering. Good pitch right there. Anytime you can get one by a bat of this caliber, especially with runners on, it's got to give you some confidence out there on the mound that you can win this battle. The 0 1. Foul ball. One out and a runner at second. And the curveball struck him out. Well, that's a curveball that I'm sure he wants back at the plate. Two strikes, the sort of pitch you're hoping for, a bit of a mistake, and I'd say in a very hittable location, but clearly the break was enough to get him to swing through it. Now a bullet to second base, but he's got it to end the inning. One left for Philadelphia, and they're still doubled up. It's six to three. Greg Kimbrell comes on now, and this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep him within striking distance. Now it's the second baseman, Cattell Marte. The second baseman, Cattell Marte. The pitch. On the ground, right side. And it goes just foul. Next offering is in for a strike. On two. Just missed. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Very high with that one. And that's ball two. Runs it up to 96 to record the punch out. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. Fletcher, the next to hit, takes outside. Swing and a pop-up in foul ground. He's there. He's got it. And there's two away. The batter, number 13. Shortstop, Nick. Two outs, bases empty. Nick Ahmed here to hit. We talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond. And this guy is at the top of the list. 
First cool. offering misses the mark. And you played behind guys, and they love having your speed out there defensively. One of the things that we talk about is how much pitchers enjoy having those elite defenders behind them. That's Two balls, cool. no strikes to count. Boog, and the one thing Two about ball, that no is play. speed never goes in a slump, and defense shouldn't either. Hitting-wise, you can struggle, you can lose your mechanics, but the thing that you can do consistently every single game is play great defense if you're talented in that way, and this is what this guy does. Right-hander kicks, deals, swings, and misses. It's two and two. That one at 95 missed up top, and it's three and two. And the right hater deals. Got it by him for the K. Nothing doing for Arizona as they're unable to add to their 6 3 lead. Softly, cause you're like the gas tank of a Mr. Softies in the wind that ain't feeling you. See, every time you see me, I got something new. Andrew Chafin enters the game. Definitely a guy that pounds the strike zone, makes hitters earn their way on base, and rarely gets in trouble because of free passes. Trey Turner down. Chafin, in his ninth season, 32 years old, a former first-round pick back in 2011. The pitch. Clips the outside corner. It's 0-1. No need to offer that pitch until you get to two strikes. It's just a low percentage of success when you want to try to go after that down-and-away pitch. And now the 0-1. Swing and a miss as he was out front. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Turner checks his swing. Now it appealed to first. And yes, he offered at it. Well, I definitely say that's a statement strikeout right there. You come out of the bullpen, go right after the hitters. And three pitches later, you got one out. I'll tell you what, if you're in the dugout, you're looking at each other and saying, he's going to be tough to get to today. Alec Bohm getting ready to hit. Jack Swing went around. 0 oh, 1. Kicks and fires. That one missed. One ball, one And here it comes. A swing and a soft liner. Gathers and throws to first. Phillies have just one out remaining. I wasn't sure if he was going to get to this one or not. Had to go a pretty good way there in the shallow right field. But then after that, it's a tough angle after you square up your shoulders to throw to first base. Not the normal position, but a really good job defensively right there. Jordan stands in here. Tried to hold back his swing there, but went around. Next pitch misses inside, and it's one and one. And that one is inside. Next pitch downstairs, three and one. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with a 3-1 count. Swing and a hard hit liner up the middle to base hit. 
he was all over that one. You'll often hear the phrase short to it, long through it, and that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the well-timed swing, and came away with a beautiful line drive in the center field. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Next to hit, Bryce Harper. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at one. Jordan, the runner at first with two gone. And now one strike away. And that is the ball game. A great start to this four-game series to get the first one at home, but these guys know they've got some work to do because they could easily drop the next three if they're not careful. Can't get too comfortable. Get some rest and come back for the next one and be ready to take game two. 6-3 our final score for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chum. Thanks for joining us.